looking for the best duck recipe off the Weber It Is 3, then this could be the video for you. But don't forget everything you use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be cooking a roast Johnny style duck on the Weber rotisserie. It's a really simple recipe to do. It takes eight simple ingredients for that rub. So let's jump in and have a look. So before we jump in and prepare our Chinese style rotisserie duck, there's a few things you're gonna need. So we're gonna be making a rub today. I will put a link in the description below of where to get one of these from. Fantastic accessory. I find them really, really great for making those rub and marinating meats overnight. So let's grab our ingredients and start preparing our Chinese style duck. Okay, so for our rub today, we've got eight simple ingredients. So you're gonna need some sea salt, some pepper, some Chinese five spice, some ground ginger, some ground cayenne pepper, sweet paprika, coriander, and some allspice. It's gonna prepare our rub in the mixing bowl, and we're gonna add two teaspoons of sea salt, two teaspoons of ground coriander. For a little bit of heat, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And for that sweetness and barbecue flavor, two tablespoons of sweet paprika, teaspoon of ground ginger and two teaspoons of five Chinese spice and some ground black pepper to taste. Now mix it all together and set it aside. Now we've prepared our rub, it's time to get that Weber lit, get that preheated and then we can start preparing our duck which will take around 10 minutes. Now today we're gonna to be using a two kilo duck. This was a frozen duck, so it's been defrosted in the fridge for around two days. Dry your duck completely with some paper towel. Make sure it's nice and dry all over. Now with your duck, you wanna pierce it with a fork all over. Just try to pierce the skin and not actually pierce the flesh. Now I find the best way to apply that rub to the duck is to put it on your rotisserie first. So make sure when you put it on your rotisserie that the spikes go all the way into the duck. Well, so our duck's been in for about 40 minutes, so it's time to check it out and start basting it with that hoisin sauce. Right, so our duck's been on now for around an hour and 15 minutes, so it should have hit that 73 degree mark. It's time to take it off. Right, so our ducks come off and it smells divine. It hit that 73 degree mark. I will put on screen what this is in Fahrenheit. We're gonna remove it from the rotisserie, cover it with some tin foil, and let it rest for around 10 minutes before we give it a bit of a taste test. Mm -hmm. 
But don't forget everything you use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. So enjoy that quick recipe, and as you can see, the duck came out superb. Those flavors balanced really well. You had that hint of heat from that cayenne pepper, and that sweetness and smoky flavor from that paprika. You have to remember to keep that on a medium heat. You want to cook it around 170 degrees Celsius to 200 Celsius, and I'll put on the screen what this is in Fahrenheit. Now you can do this on the Weber Kettle, the Weber Genesis, and you can even do it on the Weber Baby Q as I've done today. This does render off the fat with that rotisserie, but it does keep that duck really moist and really tender with that rotisserie going. So it's a fantastic recipe to try out. Let me know in the comments down below if you try it out and how you get on and if you enjoy it. And for those of you looking for that crispy skin duck recipe, check out this video. For those of you looking to cook the perfect turkey, check out this video. But thanks for watching, happy grilling, and I'll catch you in the next one.